Well, good morning. Welcome back to GP Outdoors. It's raining again. Doesn't look like we're going to be playing in the forest today. But this just means that we've got some time to do a little more maintenance and things on the tractor out in the shed. Today I'm pretty excited though. I bought a new mod. First one in over a year. It's practical and the best part, it was pretty inexpensive. So I'm going to finish up my coffee. Maybe you guys can meet me out in the shed. Let's get a step up. Cheers. So over the last year or so, you folks have been seeing me get it on and off that tractor. And a lot of times I've got to pull myself up, you know, off of the steering wheel, which of course is not good throwing 200 pounds on the side of that steering wheel. Many people over the year have sent me comments saying, GP, why don't you just grab a step for that tractor? So I've often said to them every time, uh, two reasons. One, I don't want to lose ground clearance because I'm out in the forest a lot and ground clearance is important to me. And the second reason is because I have checked into some of the third party or aftermarket mods and they're pretty expensive. In fact, there's one place that, you know, we're all very familiar with and they're charging over $420 Canadian for a single step to put on the side of my B-Series. So I figured I'd stay away from it. I just keep pulling myself up. But sure enough, as is often the case with my subscribers, you guys always come to the rescue and sure enough, found a solution for me and it's a great solution. Let me tell you about it. You got it. I picked up a stock Kubota step for this B-Series tractor. For those of you that are familiar, the B2650, which is the next size up from this B2601, comes stock with a step on it. What I didn't know until one of our subscribers explained it to me and showed me was that the stock step is a part you can order and in fact fits on the same platform here on the B2601. And in fact, not only does it fit the platform, but see these two little bumps? Sure enough, there's the holes underneath for the step. And if that's not enough, the hanging bracket for the step is welded on the bottom of the platform already with two holes drilled. So not only is it a stock Kubota part that's made to fit this tractor, the best part for me, $38 Canadian. For $38, bucks, i will try a step. Let's get to it. Should be pretty simple. So here's all you need. Your step. Grab four 5 16 bolts and corresponding nuts. I used the nylon nuts as well. I probably could have got away with a three quarter inch bolt, but I got a one inch because I wasn't around and I didn't want to be too short. Need a half inch socket, half inch wrench. Don't forget your Loctite. And because you're working under the tractor, of course, make sure you throw either some a couple of blocks of wood or axle stands if you have it underneath it. Highly unlikely the tractor's gonna fall on top of me, but the, but the fact is if it does, I'm out here by myself, so it'll take a little while before my wife or my neighbor guy eventually comes around to see if I'm okay. And that's literally all you need to put this step on. Let's get to work. So you're probably asking yourself, GP, what about the ground clearance problem? And well, I gotta tell you, little shout out to one of our subscribers named Larry. Larry got himself a B2601 just this spring and he's liking the tractor. And similar to many other people, he'd sent me a note just recently saying, GP, why don't you get yourself a step? I got one, and it's really handy, and it's certainly a lot easier getting on and off the tractor. And I said to Larry, well, same thing I've said to many other people, don't want to lose ground clearance. Not to mention, I thought they were pretty expensive. So fortunately, Larry was kind enough to send me pictures of not only the step installed in his B2601, but he also put a ruler beside the bottom of the tractor and the bottom of the step and lo and behold it turns out that you're only losing just a little under half an inch of clearance overall in this small little footprint so I thought for half an inch I think I can do that not to mention when Larry told me how much it cost I was definitely sold right then Yep, I definitely could have gotten away with three quarter inch bolts.
Well, let's take a quick breakout for our 10,000 subscriber milestone giveaway contest question. We are fast approaching 10,000 subscribers and certainly much faster than I had forecast, so that's pretty exciting stuff. So here's question 9 in the contest. On video number 69 on my channel, I'm using a flail mower, which I got from Farmer Equipment Sales. A flail mower often has two optional cutting edges, or cutters. One is called knives, and they're the ones that look like a Y, and those are primarily used for cutting grass. But if you want to cut thicket or underbrush or woody materials up to three inches, there's a second type of cutter that you need to have installed on the rotor on that flail mower. What's that second type of cutter? It's the one I used. Good luck with the questions. We'll be seeing you soon, I think. Have a wonderful week with your family. Let's get back to the video. Cheers. I like it. Much easier. Well, there she is. And that's all there was to it. Pretty simple. Uh, definitely, if you're doing it yourself, you can get away with three quarter inch bolts. Those one inch were just a little too long. But otherwise, there's lots of room in there, so it's not going to interfere with anything. Step was great. Easy to install. Everything was there. Special shout out to Larry. Thanks so much for taking the time to send me the pictures with the measurements. Because I honest to goodness thought that a step was going to really impact my ground clearance. But it doesn't look like it's too bad at all. Just as you said, about half an inch. And we'll see how it works. For 38 bucks, if it doesn't work or if I start hitting rocks or, or trees out in the forest, I can take it back off and sell it on Kijiji if I want. But at least I'm not spending hundreds of dollars on a step. It's stock, it fits, and it's going to be a little easier for my 55-year-old knees to get up and down off this tractor now. Thanks so much to everyone. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like the channel, please click subscribe, hit the like button, and if you want to know when I'm posting videos, just click that little bell. Have a wonderful week with your families. I'll see you again on the next one. Cheers.